Good afternoon everyone. It's a beautiful day. I'm here in a beautiful garden. Um, so yes, today's word is about don't force things enough. We need to wait upon the Lord. We need to wait upon what He wants to give to us, what He has for us in life. Alright, so I went through a situation in my life this week that I really, I really needed something from God. Um, I needed something and when I found myself, I was, when, I, when I looked at my situation, I felt like, God, what am I going to do? And then God gave me just this absolute joy in my heart. He just gave this peace over me. Because what is God's promise to us? God's promise to us is peace I leave with you and peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives you. The world gives you trouble. I give you peace. So that is exactly what I held on to this week. I held on to God's lovingness. I held on to what God wants to give to me. And on Wednesday, I was... Um, praying to God and I proclaimed it. I said, yes, Lord, you are going to give me today or tomorrow what I need. And on Thursday morning, I took communion with my family and I said, yes, Lord, you are working in this person's heart that needs to contact me in order for me to have, you know, in my business what I need. Because I, um, someone resigned in my business and I needed that place to be filled. And on Thursday, I received a CV, someone came for an interview, and he was just perfect. He was just perfect for the job. So once again, God always gives us what we want in, according to his, his time. I waited a few days, but through the storm, I stayed focused on him. And I praised him, and I worshipped him, and I honoured him. And that is how we need to be every day. We need to praise Him. We need to worship Him. We need to honor Him in everything that we do. Because He will always come through for us. He will always come through for us. So the scriptures that I have for it today. So there's two, two sides. You need to always listen to God's voice. And you need to stay close to Him in order to get what you want. Right? So if you listen to God's voice, that is in Proverbs 3 verse... 5 and 7 I'm going to read it says trust in the Lord completely and do not rely rely on your own opinions with all your heart rely on him to guide you God will show you guidance if you don't know what to do he will guide, guide you with all your heart you need to rely on him not on your own understanding but on his on his guidance he will lead you in every decision you need to make Sometimes in life, we, we almost, you know, there's really important decisions that we need to make. And we're like, we don't know which side. God will help you. He will lead you through that. He will show you where to go. He will show you what decision to make. He will lead you in that situation because that is his promise to us if he trusts. Then in verse 7, he says, don't think that you will know it all. For wisdom comes when you adore him with an undivided devotion and avoid everything that is wrong. We need to adore God. We need to make him part of our life. We need to make him part of important decisions that we need to make. We need to stop thinking that we know it all because we don't. With our God in your life, with our God in your decisions, that anointing is not on it. If something is not happening in your life, then maybe it's not God's will for your life. And we need to accept it. And we need to still praise God. And we need to still see how wonderful He is in our lives. Then we need to stay close to God. We're still in Proverbs 3. Now we're going to verse 6. It says, Become intimate with Him in whatever you do. And He will lead you wherever you go. Intimate relationship. Have an intimate relationship with God. Have an intimate relationship with God so that He can show you where to go and so that he can lead you in his decisions in your decisions in life that is important that we have an absolute devoted life to god then i'm going to jump to psalm 16 verse 8 this is when we stay close to God so that he can guide us because you, because you are close to me and always available because god is close to us if we allow our hearts to, for God to work in it, He is close to us. It's our own will. We need to open our hearts so that He can work with us. We need to open our hearts and our minds and everything so that God can work with us. And He's always available. Did you know that God is always available? 
He's always available. He's not just there when, when, when it suits him. But the most important part is, is we need to be available for God. We need to open our hearts for him. We need to be, uh, you know, willing. We need to have a willing spirit. Oh God, yes, Lord. Give me a willing spirit so that I can be guided by you, Lord. Okay? Um, so, because you are close to me and always available, my confidence will never be shaken. If you're not confident in life, you'll, you, you feel wonky, right? You feel like your life is being shaken. But the promise of God says, when, because he's close to us, that he's, uh, my confidence will never be shaken. We will not be shaken. We'll always be confident in who we are and where to go, what decisions we need to make if we stay close to God. For I experience your wraparound presence every moment. If we walk in God's presence, if we are in his presence, if we allow him to work with our hearts, if we allow him to work in our lives, we will not be shaken. Our confidence will not be shaken. We will not go into depression. We will not go into, I'm not good enough. If you allow to God for God to be always work in your heart and always be part of your life, you will not be shaken. Because if, you conf if your confidence is gone, life gets hard. But the promise is, if you stay in God's wraparound presence, you'll always have confidence in Him. You'll always have confidence in what He gives in your life, not in yourself. Psalm 16 verse 9 says, My heart and soul explodes with joy. And that is the feeling I had this week. I still had joy, even though there were circumstances around me that, that, that was out of my hands. I told my friends, you know what? I still have joy. Isn't that amazing? I still have joy. And that is what God gives you. He gives you that joy. Our circumstances in life can throw us and shake us. But if we have God, we won't be shaken inside. We'll always have God. We'll always have His joy. We'll always have what He wants to give to us. Full of glory, even my body will rest in confidence and secure. There is again, again, we will feel secure because if we don't have confidence and if you don't feel secure, if you are scared, then life is going to shake you. But God says if you are close to Him, if you are wrapped in his presence, your confidence will not be shaken and you, you will be secure in him. You will be secure in him. So that is, that is God's promise to us that we need to always, and listen to how this, I'm going to end off with this verse. Psalm 16 verse 6. Your pleasant path leads me to pleasant places. God has a pleasant path for all of us. He leads us to pleasant places. You know, sometimes we feel in life what we're going through right now is not pleasant. But if we are led by God and if we walk in His path, He leads us to pleasant paths. He leads us to life. He leads us to life-giving opportunities and changes. We need to change. If you're not walking in the path, if you don't feel that joy in your heart, you need to change and you need God. You need to go to God and ask him, Lord, how can I change? How can you lead me? Lord, please lead me into your paths because his path is pleasant. I am overwhelmed by the privileges that come with following you. For you have given me the best. <laughs> These privileges as a child of God. There's privileges if we follow God. There's privileges in His ways. There's privileges if we walk in His present paths. For He gives the best to us. What the best is for me is not the best for you. We should stop comparing other people's situations and other people's lives and blessings to ours. Because whatever, if you follow God's ways, if you're walking in His ways, if you're in His paths, that is the best for you because that is what he says his pleasant paths is for us if we walk in his ways so be in his ways be in his paths and open your ears so that you can hear god's voice because we cannot do it on our own we cannot do it on our own be blessed everyone have a wonderful saturday and i'll see you next week bye